fake bids at housing auctions. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Let's have a look at this post on Reddit or Reddit Oz Finance about someone's experience with a developer putting a fake bid on their behalf at an auction. Now, I'm not that familiar with auctions. I don't trust them. <laughs> ever since, ever since I looked into, well, the reality of auction clearance rates. If you have a look at this article on my website, you can see, thanks to the data that was mined by Fresh Canvas, just what's advertised and the difference between what it really could be, the range. It's always, always going to be higher than reality because real estate agents, well, they don't tell you when they fail, do they? So I, I thought this is an interesting one and it will be worth getting other people's insight in the, prefer in the industry to see if this is bloody normal. So this is what the person was writing. So I just attended a phone auction this morning for a new one bedroom apartment in Fortitude Valley in Brisbane. I'd almost no, I had almost no intention of bidding unless the prices were outrageously low and had really only decided to attend just to see what happened. So bidding started at 300k, so I already decided to sit out completely. After the first bid, no one put anything up for quite a while and the developer's representative was on the phone egging me on to put in 320, to which I said no. So here's the question. Was this guy recording the conversation when you're on the phone with someone for this? Maybe this is something everyone should do, should record these conversations, particularly if you're in this situation. Do you trust do you trust the real estate or the developer's representative? He then went to the auctioneer to say that the phone bidder, me, had put 320 even though I didn't. I was trying to tell him on the phone that I didn't offer anything and he needed to retract it. He completely ignored me until someone put up another offer for $340,000. It was a completely nerve-wracking experience to say the least. And it has me worried for what would happen if the REA or developer's representative had put the offer up and that bid had won the auction, especially after I signed the phone auction authority. Has anyone else seen dodgy behavior like this? Is it common? Can I report the developer's representative who is probably not a registered REA? So this is dodgy and illegal. This needs to be reported. <laughs> Real estate agents doing something dodgy. Well, I never. <laughs> That's probably the least he did. You can see here that there's obviously in this, this community, there's a little bit of skepticism about the, uh, let's just say how moral and upstanding the professions are in the real estate industry. What do you expect from a real estate agent? <laughs> Lies and crimes in general. Um, you know, I mean, here we go. <laughs> I don't want to read any of this. This is going to get all, all bad, <laughs> bad, naughty real estate agents. So vendor bids are okay, but must be announced as such according to the above. Are you sure it was phone bid and not vendor bid maybe own bid i don't know phone and vendor pretty far apart really so unless the phone conversation connection was lousy i don't see how otherwise it sounds like it might have been illegal so i mean they, you're even bidding against the vendor when you're at one of these auctions so what's the point it's all for the advantage of the person selling the property it reads to me like the agent representative representing the op who was not the vendor made a bid on OP's behalf against their wishes. And he's really saying, correct. Reminds me of the block of three story townhouses, four townhouses on one block of land. The builder owner got his own friends to put in fake bids against real people. So as far as I know, auctioneers and agents in Queensland are allowed to put dummy bids in while the property is beneath the reserve price. I think if asked, they have to identify them as such, but not necessarily note them as vendors bids when received. I mean, does that not seem just utterly dodge? Why not start? Why not just say, okay, reserve price is this start here because they want to get you 
excited. They want to get an emotional response. They want to get you feel like you're winning. This is all purely about manipulation, purely about manipulation for people. It's all psychology. Undoubtedly, what was done to you was a, a dick move. But in terms of complaint, were you the only phone bidder at the auction? Did the auctioneer record it as your bid or as a vendor bid? My guess is that what they did was legal and normal. You weren't ever the bidder. And while they made you look like a bidder to encourage other people to bid, they knew it wasn't you. I mean, that's just... Do you reckon that could be it, guys? I mean, this is sounding insane. Is this what you have to deal with in going to auctions to buy real estate? For, for a dinky one better in the valley? Come on. So, this is completely incorrect. An agent or auctioneer cannot place a dummy bid. They can only place a vendor bid, and it must be announced. Dummy bids are illegal. Okay, this is what we hear in here. Sorry for sounding dumb here, but how is the vendor bid not a dummy bid? It's a fake bid to drive up the price either way. Here we go. A vendor bid must be disclosed as such and is only valid up to the reserve price in Queensland. A vendor bid past the reserve price is a false bid, which is illegal. If a vendor bid is cast, it is essentially a signal that the reserve price has not been met and the vendor is not willing to accept the current bid. Once the vendor bids stop, that, that is a signal that either the reserve price has been met or the vendor is willing to entertain the current bid price. So a vendor bid is one that is made on behalf of the owner is announced to the crowd. It is a way to keep the auction moving forward when short of the reserve. A dummy bid is a bid that is made by no one. It is pulled from a tree or fake bid. It is illegal and the agent can lose their license if found to be engaging in the practice. I mean, there you, uh, can you imagine real estate agents doing that, guys? As far as I know, the only I, was, I was the only phone bidder from the OP. And yes, he did call out phone bidder 320, so dodgy. How do you know you were the only phone bidder? So he doesn't know for certain. Maybe there was another phone bidder. When I asked if I could attend via phone two days ago, they acted as if it was a huge inconvenience and had to scramble to prepare the forms. So I presume it wasn't something anyone had asked for. Fair enough. Pretty cheeky move if they were just making it up. I could imagine the panic, the panic wondering if they had misheard me. How much did the place end up going for? I wonder if the person bidding 340k after a false offer has any recourse. It ended up going for 357 and yeah, I wondered that too. Well, there you go. 357 for one better in the valley. What do you reckon, guys? Dummy bids? Absolutely not. They're illegal in Queensland. A vendor bid. So everyone, who were the agents or developer? Don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. Do everyone a favor and put an end to this madness. I'll report, I'll report them if needed. They weren't agents. They were representatives of the developer for Utopia Space, which is why I just uh, I couldn't just refer them to the real estate authority. Next time, make sure the... Real estate agent is the person taking your bids. To be honest, having the developer taking bids over the phone is pretty unusual. I've never heard of that before. Sounds like anyone bidding via phone needs to be recording the calls. The agent put a bid for you that you did not approve. Exactly. You just need to be <laughs> need to be recording it. Recording it. So what about the person who got it for three fifty seven and feels like you know there's there's twenty grand there that maybe they didn't have to spend. I swear some of the bidders that I've seen at auctions are put there to drive up the price happening around West Pennant Hills area. Heads up for next time you're doing something that has legal, uh, legal repercussions over the phone. Inform the other party that the call will be recorded and record the phone conversation. If all parties are in Queensland, a call can be recorded without the other party's consent if the recording device is external to the phone. A dictaphone. Okay. Well, we have to confirm that, but a dictaphone? So, setting aside whether there were other bidders apart from the OP, one of whom did make a bid of 320, how did tens of people here upvote a categorically incorrect statement making it sound like it was a vendor bid, which is legal if the reserve had not been met but must be announced at the auction as such? Well, if it wasn't announced, that's the thing. So, just hang up, problem solved. They just would have to say, didn't meet reserve. 
So what is your take on this one, everyone? Yeah, do you think it's a bit dodgy? Do you think that uh, people are a little bit concerned about this? Or just, yeah, just what agents are like? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. What about 357 for a little apartment in the valley? For a one better. You better hope that the you know, rental demand creeps back. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links on Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.